السلام عليكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي So the title of the top of the talk today is reclaiming your heart uh, finding the road back to God I want to begin with this title and talk about where it came from before you can talk about reclaiming the heart we need to understand what is the heart and what is the purpose of the heart like everything else the heart is a creation of God and the heart has a very specific purpose God created the heart for a specific to, to fulfill a specific function now if you think about any created thing what is the function that a car is supposed to fulfill it's supposed to take you from point A to point B that's the the function of a car what's the function that a blender is supposed to fulfill it's supposed to blend things chop ice etc What's the function of an oven or a hammer or a screwdriver? All of these created things have a function. When a created thing doesn't fulfill the function that it was created for, then it isn't, um, essentially it isn't fulfilling its purpose. Moreover, if you think back to the car example, uh, you know, how many of you guys have been in a situation where you're driving and maybe you weren't paying attention or you left it to the last minute and your car is on empty, right? Um, or even the, the gas light is on. So you quickly go to a gas station, you need to fill up with gas. But what if when you get to the gas station, instead of filling the tank with gasoline, you go inside the store and you pick up a jug of orange juice. And you take the orange juice and you pour the orange juice in the gas tank instead of gasoline. Well, it doesn't take a mechanic to know that the car is not going to start. And at best, it's just not going to start. But at worst, you're actually going to break the car. Now, how does that relate to the heart? The, re the reason that that relates to the heart is the heart, like that gas tank, was created to be filled with a specific thing. And when you fill that heart with other than what it was created to be filled with, it breaks, just like that car, just like that gas tank. And it doesn't work properly. The human heart was created by God for God. It was created to be filled with the love of God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us very clearly the answer to this question that we so often ask, why are we here? Like, what's our purpose? What am I doing here? And at some level, everyone wonders these things. What's my role? What's my purpose? Where did I come from? Where am I going? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers this question very clearly in the Quran when He says, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون Very clear. Allah says that we have not created jinn and human beings except for one purpose. See, the construction of this ayah is very important to understand. One could say that the purpose of my creation is such and such, but the ayah doesn't say it that way. The ayah begins by saying that there's no other purpose. So it begins with actually a negation. You know when you take something and you completely erase, you, you, you begin with a clean slate. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ Allah is first negating any other possible purpose. And then Allah says, إِلَّا So He erases any other purpose before He says, except إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Except to fulfill عُبُودِيَّة to God. Except to worship, to serve, to know, to love God. This whole concept of عُبُودِيَّة, which can't really just be translated with one word. 
but it's ultimately it's that it's that serve it's that that relationship with God of worship of a abd here God is saying to us that the reason why we were created was for that and that alone ultimately that is the only purpose of our creation so how that brings us back then back to the the heart where does the heart fit into this whole equation the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tells us in a hadith that verily in the heart rather verily in the body there is a lump of flesh and if that lump of flesh is set right then the entire body is set right and if that lump of flesh is corrupted then the entire body is corrupted ala wa hiya al qalb verily and it is the heart in this hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us what really is in charge who really is in charge of the way we act who really is in charge of the rest of the body often times we think well no actually um it's my mind right um i'm not an emotional person i am i'm led by my rationality i'm led by my mind but in fact as we learn from this hadith the heart is actually the master and whatever it is that's filling my heart is actually what dictates what the rest of my body does so if my heart is a sick heart then the rest of my actions are going to be likewise sick if my heart is a healthy heart a sound heart as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the quran qalbun salim so uh, allah tells us on the tongue of ibrahim alayhi salam ibrahim alayhi salam has this very beautiful extended dua this supplication to god in which he asks allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among other things ولا تخزني يوم يبعثون يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون الا من اتى الله بقلب سليم he's asking prophet ibrahim is asking god do not disgrace me on the day when everyone is brought back يوم يبعثون يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون the day when nothing is going to benefit us nothing is going to benefit from wealth or children Why these two examples will because typically in the past this is what gave somebody power and status is their wealth and their children. So it's kind of like, you know, it's your clan, it's the, this is your power is through your wealth and your children. These things will not benefit anyone on that day. Illa man atha Allah bi qalbin salim except for the person except for the one who comes to Allah with a heart that is sound we learn a very important lesson from this ayah and that is the only thing that's going to matter is the condition of my heart when i go back to my creator that is what's going to matter what's my job in this life then my job in this life is to purify that heart so that when i return to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i return with a heart that is salim